What's up everyone? It's Marie. We're back. Gem City Collectibles. And we are working on just going back in time and kind of building up our collection of the pre-cons that all the different sets have. Because um, it's just a fun, easy way to, you know, get people playing casual games of Commander. So, figured we'd open them, share it with you. Um, even though we're obviously late to the game, here we are, Camigua, Neon Dynasty, buckle up. One of my favorite pre-cons still to this day. I just think it's a really fun pre-con. Love this set. I'm going to be pretty sad to see it rotate out of standard. It's just so much fun to play through. Oh. All right. Make some space for myself here. Make sure I got everything out. Other than the punch outs. Okay. Here we go. There's our artwork on the box. Pretty artwork. I don't know, I'm a sucker. I always like the blue and white. All right, here is our life counter, and I kind of miss life counters like this, you know, with nicer looking artwork. Better than just kind of the plain black ones. I don't know. This at least seemed to match the set. Feels good when you open it, I suppose. All right, let's get into this deck. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber, and we appreciate you. <clears throat> When you think back to your Kamigua days, what, what were you most excited about as this set was coming out? Um, I didn't play Magic as this set was coming out. I've you know, not been into Magic for very long, so everything to me feels new and exciting. Um, but I still, you know, in the short time we've been playing, we've really gotten into it. So I love this set. Love this deck. Um, but I can imagine... How hyped this set was when it originally came out so let us know what you were most looking forward to I guess let's go over the commander here uh, vehicles you control have crew two at the beginning of combat on your turn Tur target artifact creature you control gains life leak and vigilance until end of turn oh. apologies my allergies are starting to act up nice weather is finally here where we are so we have the windows open and of course with that all of the pollen comes in oh. generous gift I love the elephant on this one near smith swords to plowshares now I really like the reprint they did of this one in Fallout. I like the Fallout skin on the Swords to Plowshares card. Reality shift. Leave a comment below. Let us know what your favorite Commander Precon was that came out. Um, let us know what your favorite one was that came out kind of with like a standard set release. I know it's not really meant to be about Commander, but Obviously, you know, the the decks that were released with the commander sets were obviously stronger. I'll say for the Fallout set, I don't know, I was expecting the decks to be a little bit stronger, I think, right out of the box. Um, I still think I, as I play through the pre-cons from the Fallout set, or when I think of like the Universe Beyond ones, I still think like Lord of the Rings and Warhammer decks are the ones that feel the most powerful to me still and I'm for Lord of the Rings just that food and fellowship deck no I love that deck I, I really think that that's a good pairing with against a lot of decks imposter mech research thief Universal Surveillance. Cataclysmic Gearhulk. Indomitable Archangel. Tish 
Shar, Ancestors, Apostle, Apostle, Emery, Lurker of the Luck, Jace, Master of Ethereum, <clears throat> Thopter Spy Network. One second, I just made a mess of the pile I was creating. All right. All right, and we will thumb through our lands here and check out our tokens. I love this deck. I think it's so much fun. I love this set. Not happy to see it rotate out of standard. Obviously, can still use the cards in other formats, which I will. But I do think that this is a pretty strong set within standard still. And um, yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna hate having to switch switch out of it. But that's how standard is. All right, our thick commander, which I guess we don't get those display commanders anymore. Um, Starting with Outlaws of Thunder Junction, looks like we just get um, the extended art foils. Um, so. Which maybe no one cares. Maybe people don't like the thick commanders. To be honest, we actually sell ours. Um, they, they sell kind of well. On, and not that we sell them for a lot, but surprisingly, people do buy them. So. Love this artwork from the Spirit Token. Spirit and Treasure Tokens in Kamigua are my favorite artwork on Spirit and Treasure Tokens. I just think they're so pretty. And that will wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.